4.1.2 read as follows. Determine the equation of the axis of symmetry of H that has a negative gradient. So, a hyperbola has the axis of symmetry. What is the axis of symmetry? So, it is an axis of symmetry. It is a symmetrical line. It is a line. It is a line that cuts your graph into two identical parts. That's what an axis of symmetry is, which means symmetry, which means symmetrical. So if you're saying this is something is a line of symmetry, it means that that on either side of that line of symmetry of yours that you have, you will see two identical features. You will see identical features. That's what it means. So hyperbola does have the axis of symmetry. So it is defined by these two lines. But the line y is equal to minus x plus c, or y is equal to x plus c. So this one have a negative gradient, and this one have a positive gradient. So how do you know which one to use? Here in this case, you are told which one to use. They are saying use the one with the negative gradient, which is this one. So on another day, you might be asked, without being told which one to use, how do you determine which one to use? So what gives you a hint of which one you should be using is your nature of your graph, which is the sign of your graph. This function here is negative, is negative, is negative. This is where you read the, the sign of, of your graph. Provided that the entire structure is in this form, which is your x minus something, or x plus something plus whatever. So this is where you read your sign. But if you have something like 1 minus x, then you must rearrange that in such a way that it fits this format. x minus something, x plus something. So if everything else stays similar to this, we say you have x minus p plus q, then this is where you read the sign of your graph. Because now, the reason I'm saying this, if this x here was negative, it was negative x minus 1, then this would be a different story. The sign of this graph would be different. The sign of this function. So this is where you read the sign of a function. So if this graph is negative, if your function is negative, then what that means is your graph will be negative. That means you must use the line that have a negative gradient. And that line, it doesn't, it does cast your, your function. But what it also, what you also need to know is that it passes through the point, through the, the point where your asymptotes meet. Because you have a vertical asymptote, you have a horizontal asymptote. So this line of symmetry, which is this line, because in this case, the graph is negative, which means we are going to calculate the line of symmetry using this, this equation here using this equation here. So what it means is, this line of symmetry passes to the, to the point where your asymptotes meet. So your asymptote, you said the other was x is equal to one, and the other was y is equal to two. So this graph passes in one and two, this, this line of symmetry. So what you have to do now is to find this equation. How do you do this? Easy, we have x, we have x, we have y. So y, y substitute 2 minus x, which is 1, plus c. So your c is equal to 2 plus 1, because you transpose this to this side. So your c is equal to 3. Your line of symmetry is equal to y is equal to negative x plus 3. So if you plot the function that you're given h there and plot this line, you'll see that this line will split your graph into two identical parts. This is what, this is your line of symmetry. But if your h was positive, you're going to use that graph with a positive gradient. So, let's go to the next question.